How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. <sighs> if you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Excuse me. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. How much do you like lava levels in video games? Do you like lava levels, yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite? Me? I love lava levels in video games, like I've already said. Here's World 8. Hands down, one of the easiest worlds in the game, because the world is very easy, I have to say. It's very fun. Definitely has to be my favorite world in the game. This has to be my favorite world in the game. Um, I, if I if I had to pick a second favorite, probably six, because I really like World Six as well. That was a lot of fun too. If I had to pick my favorite level in the game, that had to be World Six Five. Although World Eight is my favorite world. We got our first dark one, pretty easy right there. Second Stark one's up here. And go in the warp box right here. And in order to get the last Stark one, we're going to have to go through a cannon. Which is this right here. And then we're going to have to shoot towards it right now. Now, in order to get the top of the flag pole, we have to use the cannon again and then shoot towards the top like this. Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh, I thought I aimed it perfectly. Give me another tanuki suit I can have. Tanuki suit, please. Okay. Okay, so we aim here to get our third star coin. And we go this way. And now, I aimed a little too high is what happened. So you have to aim about like that. That's how you do it. <laughs> so, um... So we're down to 8-1, now we're going to 8-2. Like I said, I'm splitting this world into two parts, because if I don't, I'm going to do 8-1, 8-2, and then 8-3, 8-4, 8-5, 8 first castle, and then after that I'll do 8-6. And that will be what I'll be doing in this video. Excuse me. <clears throat> And then the final castle of World 8, which is when I fight the final boss, that deserves its own video. Alright. Yeah. 
Okay, <clears throat> we got all three Stark ones, so... If I can keep this Tanuki so it'll make it a heck of a lot easier to get the top of the flagpole. So I'm just gonna keep it, and I'm just gonna glide towards the top, and there we go. Alright, we're done with that level. Now we're going to World 8-3. This level requires 80 star coins to unlock it. I love volcano levels in video games. I really like um, Grum Grumble Volcano from Mario Kart Wii. I also really like... Um, um, Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy, and I like the Freeze Flame Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. Um, this level requires a Tanuki suit to get one of the Star Coins. Because you need it to get up here. Okay. So be careful right here. So you have to be really, really careful here. There we go, we did 8-3, that was pretty easy. Now we're going to 8-4. It looks like there's only one castle in World 8 at first until you realize there's two. It's making it the longest world in the game. I do not want the fire flower. I want it the I want to keep the tanuki suit because it's gonna be the most useful ever. Maybe they'll give me a tanuki suit later in the level. We'll see. Here's the first dark one. Pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. I think the second one, is it this way? Oh, it's this way, I remember. There we go, we got our second star coin and we have two Tanuki suits now. Isn't that awesome? World 8, like I said, very easy world compared to like 5, like I've already said. These levels are so easy and everything in World 8. Especially if you have the Tanuki suit, it is. Okay, let's try to go for the last star coin. Okay. 
There we go. <laughs> we did it. Now we're going to world eight dash five. Eight dash five is actually a very easy level, and it I really love this level so much. If you jump, the platforms flip. There's a levels like this in Super Mario 30 World as well. Oh, excuse me. So be careful right here. I love this music though. This music is epic. It's one of the most epic musics in a Mario game. I do not give you Tanuki suit in the level, but I'm keeping the Tanuki suit. So be careful right here. Here's where we find your last dark one, is in this warp box. Go. We're done with 8 dash 5. Now we're going on to the first castle of World 8, and then after that we'll do 8 dash 6. And then that will be it for this video. Like I said, these levels are so short in World 8. So, mm, this level requires 90 star coins to unlock. Mm. Okay, now we're going on to the first castle of World 8. And this is a very easy castle, by the way. One of my favorites as well. So we're supposed to get that star coin, and then now we're supposed to um, dodge these melty monster guys. That, those were from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And hit this switch right here. I'm gonna get rid of these boomerang bros. But guess what? We don't even need the boomerang suit. We can easily do it with the tanuki suit. There we go. We have one more star coin to get. We can just glide towards it like this. Watch out for that shockwave when you jump over it. We're done! <laughs>
Alright, so now we're going to try to get the top of the flagpole. After we get this top, we're going to go ahead and do 6 now, which is this level right here. There we go. So you have to ride this platform right here and be careful about this. So it's a pretty easy level actually. We just need to do this. Second star coins there, very easy. That's all we gotta do. We're done with 8-6, like I told you, very easy, I told you. It's very short as well. And we're done with World 8, except for the final boss. And the final boss will be next episode. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And click on the bell, be notified every time I make new videos. And have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speakboy.